Good evening, and welcome to Denton Cup's Lugnasid ritual. When we canceled our spring equinox back in March, we thought that surely by August we could be together again. But it's simply not safe yet for 50 to 60 people to gather, even outdoors. We have chosen to do this ritual in small remote groups and we invite you to join us from wherever you are. Light the central candle with us. Respond to the calls, pour offerings, and during our main working, listen to the call of Lou. And if you are so moved, receive his blessing. Let us now begin our celebration of Lugnasa. Let us now invite the spirits of the elements and directions to join our circle. Spirits of the east, spirits of air, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your wisdom. Teach us the ways of vision and judgment. Spirits of the east and air, hail and welcome. Spirits of the south, Spirits of fire, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your inspiration. Teach us the ways of creation and growth. Spirits of the south and of fire, hail and welcome. Spirits of the west, spirits of water, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your love. Teach us the ways of compassion and intuition. Spirits of the West and of water, hail and welcome. Spirits of the North, spirits of Earth, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your abundance. Teach us the ways of patience and stability. Spirits of the North and of Earth, hail and welcome. I now invite you to light your own candle. This flame is the intersection of all times, all directions, and all worlds. It is united with flames lit around the country and around the world and with the flames that burn in the hearts of all those who celebrate the ritual with us today. We who cannot be together in body join together at this sacred center. We make this offering that our journeys may be safe and fruitful. Spirits of the land, spirits of this place, spirits of all the places where we gather, we thank you for sharing this place with us. We ask your protection and blessings on this sacred rite that we may learn and grow in honor and in friendship. Accept this offering we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Spirits of the land, hail and welcome.
ancestors of blood and ancestors of spirit, you whose children we are and on whose foundations we build, because of you we have life. May we continue your lines in power and strength, and may we live so as to be worthy of the honor of those who come after us. Accept this offering we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Mighty ancestors, hail and welcome. Hail to the fair folk, those of the courts of the various queens, and those who are aligned with no one in this world or in the other. We honor you as our good neighbors. We make this offering in hospitality and in respect that our sacred work may be successful and uninterrupted. Good neighbors, hail and welcome. Blue of the long arm, we ask you to join our circle and bless us with your presence. Great champion and king, slayer of valor, be welcome here. Grant us the gift of your invincible spear, we ask, that we may be victorious in our fight to protect our community, our world, and all the creatures who share it with us. Lu Samaldanak, master of all arts, hear us as we call to you. We thank you for the many skills represented in this assembly, here and around the world. Teach us what we must learn, we ask, so we can join you in the great work of this time and place. Accept this offering, we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Blue, hail and welcome. The ancient Irish festival of Lugnasset was named for Lou, but it was celebrated in honor of his foster mother, Taltia, who cleared the land of Ireland for planting and then died from exertion. Hail Talchu, we thank you for nurturing Lou and caring for him in his infancy. At this time of the grain harvest, we thank you for your sacrifice that feeds the people of Ireland and their descendants of blood and of spirit around the world. Talchif, you are our honored guest. Hail and welcome. Let us now hear the story of Lou. A long time ago, the Fomorians controlled Ireland, and their king was Balor of the Evil Eye. A druid had prophesied that Balor would be killed by his own grandson, so he locked his only child, Inu, in a tower guarded by twelve women, so she would never see or hear a man. 
but Inu often dreamed of a man. Kian was a man of the Tuatha de Danan, and he had a great cow who never failed to give milk. Balor stole his cow. So Kian went to a druid named Irak. She dressed him in women's clothes and took him across the sea in a great gust of wind to the tower where Inu was. Irag called to the women in the tower, Grant me shelter, good ladies, for I am traveling with a queen of the Tuatha de Danin, and this storm is great. The Fomorian woman let them in. Irag cast an enchantment, and all the Fomorian women fell asleep. Kian went to speak with Inu, and when she saw him, she said, you are the man of whom I have dreamt, and she gave him her love. When her time came, Inu gave birth to a son, and when Balor found out, he had his people put the child in a cloth, fasten it with a pin, and throw him into the sea. The pin dropped out, the child slipped from the cloth into the water, and they thought, he was drowned. But the druid Birog quickly found him, and she brought him to his father Kian, who gave him to Talitha. And Taltia was Lu's foster mother until he grew into manhood. When Lu became a young man, he went to present himself to Nuada, the king of the Tuatha de Dan. When he arrived at the hill of Tara, he was stopped by a guard. Who are you, and what are you doing here? My name is Lu, and I have come to take my place at the court of the king of my father's people. None may enter here unless they have a skill or an art. Lu stood proud and tall. I'm a warrior. The guard shook his head. We have warriors aplenty. We need no more. Go away. I'm also a commander. Our commander is King Nuada himself. We need no other. I am also a scholar. We have Oma, who invented the art of writing. We need no more scholars. I'm a sailor. We have Mananan Meglir, son of the sea himself. We need no other. I'm a magician. We have the Morrigan, queen of all magic and sorcery. And I am a smith. We have many highly skilled artists and smiths. We need no more. Now, since you obviously possess no skill or art we do not already have, go away and bother us no more. Ah, said Lou, but do you have any one person who has all of these skills? The guard thought for a moment, and then went into the hall and said, King Nuada, there is a young man at our gates, the likes of whom I have never seen before, for he is truly skilled in all arts. King Nuada said, bring him into my hall and make a place for him at my table. So Lu took his place among the Tuatha de Danan, and from that night on he was known as Lu Samildanach, which means master of all arts. A good while after that, King Nuada was holding a great assembly when they saw an armed troop coming towards them. With a the young man in front, and the brightness of his face was like the setting sun. It was Lu Lemfada, Lu of the Long Arm. The troop came to where King Nuada was with the Tuatha de Danan, and they welcomed one another. They were not there long until they saw a surly, slovenly troop coining towards them. These were the messengers of the Fomorians 
coming to take rent and taxes. The Tuatha de Danann so feared them that not one of them would do anything of consequence without their permission. They came up to where King Nuada was, and the king and all the, the Tuatha de Danann stood up before them. And Lu asked, Why do you stand for that surly, slovenly troop when you did not stand for us? It is needful for us to do so, for if there was but a child of us sitting before them, they would not think that too small a cause for killing him. Lu said, It is too long a time you have been under this oppression. And with that, he attacked the Fomorians, killing and wounding them, till he had made an eight-ninth of them. He released the last to go back to the Fomorians and tell the story of how a young man had killed all the rent collectors but themselves. Before they did, Balor of the Evil Eye asked, Do you know who this young man is? And his wife said, I know well. He is the son of your daughter and mine. And it was foretold that from the time he would come into Ireland, we would never have power there again. Then the Fomorians gathered their army and set out for Ireland. Now the Tuatha de Danann had determined not to let Lou go into battle because his death would be a great loss to them, and for days the fighting yielded no advantage to their side. Then the day of the great battle came, and for a while it was going against the Tuatha de Danann. Both King Nuada and Maka, daughter of Ernmas, were killed by Balor, king of the Fomorians. But then Lu broke away from those that were keeping him and rushed out to the front. Lu encouraged the Tuatha de Danann to fight well so they would not be in any bonds together any longer. And there was great slaughter, and many slipped in the blood that was under their feet, and the river carried away bodies of friends and enemies together. Then Lu and Balor met in battle, and Lu called out insults to him. And Balor said, lift up my eyelid till I see this chatterer who is talking to me. For any who fell under the eye of Balor would immediately die. Then they raised Balor's eyelid, but Lu cast his spear at him and brought his eye out through the back of his head so that it fell toward his own army and they died when they looked at it. After this, Lu struck Balor's head off. And after the battle was won and the bodies were cleared away, the Mordigan gave out the news of the great victory, saying, Peace to the sky, sky down to earth, strength to everyone. Then Lu was made king of the Tuatha de Danann, and while he was king, his foster mother, Talcha, died. Lu buried her and raised a mound over her that is seen to this day, and he ordered fires to be kindled, and keening made, and games and sports held in the summer of every year out of respect for her. And thus this festival is named for Lu, but it is celebrated in honor of Talcha. The story of Lu does not begin with his birth, but with his ancestors, and especially with his foster mother, Talcia. Who has supported and nurtured you when you could not care for yourself? Who have you supported and nurtured even though they were not your blood kin? The blessings of Talcia 
be upon you as you care for those who need your nurturing. Lou is skilled in all arts. We are not so versatile, but we too have skills. And when we honor Lou and contemplate his virtues, we gain some of his resourcefulness. The blessings of Lou be upon you as you do all the many things you are called to do in this challenging year. When his people were oppressed, Lu resisted the powerful rulers of the land. In our lands, too many of the powerful are oppressing immigrants, the poor, and minorities of many kinds. The blessings of Lu be upon you as you resist injustice, wherever you find it. The Tuatha de Danan were afraid to risk Lu but without his skill and effort, they would have lost the battle. Whether our battles are physical or metaphorical, victory always requires taking risks. The blessings of Lou be upon you as you do what must be done. We have gathered together. We have invited our allies we have made offerings, and we have received the blessings of Talview and of Luke. I now invite you to join us and them in a toast of beer or whatever you choose to drink. Praise be to Talview, praise be to Luke, praise be to all those who do their work in this world. you, foster mother, we thank you for your nurturing and your blessings. May we always honor you in compassion and strength. Hail and farewell. Lou, master of all arts, we thank you for your presence and your blessings. May we always honor you in courage and in skill. Hail and farewell. Mighty she, we are glad our work tonight went well. May there be peace and honor between us now and forever. Hail and farewell. Mighty ancestors, we thank you for your presence and your wisdom. May our time together renew and strengthen our connections across many generations and across many realms. Hail and farewell. Spirits of the land, spirits of all the places where we are, we thank you for your presence and your blessings. May there be honor and hospitality between us now and in the future. Hail and farewell. Spirits of the north, spirits of earth. Spirits of the west, spirits of water. Spirits of the south, spirits of fire. Spirits of the east, spirits of air. We thank you for your presence and your blessings. Hail and farewell. We extinguish this candle, this central flame. And as we do, we leave the sacred center and return fully to our homes around the world. But we know that we have come together tonight so we can come together in the future, even if we cannot gather around the same fire. This year, we are facing many challenges none of us have ever seen, 
requiring skills many of us do not have. Yet, with the help of the master of all arts, we can learn what we do not know and meet the challenges in our lives and in our society. The rites of Lunasad are now complete. May the blessings of Lu be with us now and in the days to come. Thank you all for coming to Denton Cup's virtual Lugnasid ritual, for joining with us as we honored Lu and Talcha, the spirits of this land, the other crowd, and our ancestors of blood and of spirit. As we move forward, I hope that we can gather together again in person but until then, this is our ritual format, and we will reach out to all of you before the fall equinox to let you know what we will be doing and what I hope you can join us in celebrating. Have a blessed and safe Lugnasid, and I look forward to seeing you all again.